into a fifth grade class. Today is Thursday, September 22nd, 2022, the 36th day of school. We are glad that you are here today and we hope that you have left your average at home or on the school bus and are ready to have a respectful and responsible day. Ready means being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff. Respectful means cheating others the way you want to be cheated. And responsible means doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort. Speaking of responsibility, our first responsibility is to be to be ready for to start respect for the rest we have in this school and this country. We do this by daily saying the Pledge of Allegiance, the school pledge, and during the moment of silence. To show our respect, we say the pledge, we stop what we're doing, we stand up and put our hands over our heart like this and say the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. Would you please stand for the pledge and remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. Pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I will be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I need throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I will work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Please reflect silently on your day, your activities, and what you hope to accomplish. Caleb. And my name's Haven. Another responsibility that we have is try to keep each other safe by slowing down the spread of germs. We do that by frequently washing our hands. When we wash our hands, we want to get we want to use soap, water, or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. When we wash our hands, we want to get all parts of our hands, the palms of our hands, the backs of our hands, in between our fingertips, plus our wrists and our thumbs. When we wash our hands, we want to get do it for at least 20 seconds. So let's wash our hands. Pachito, who is 11, Tatum Smith, who is 7, and Caitlin Kripe, who is 11. Please make sure that, that you come to the media center and get your birthday ribbon. Our, our next responsibility each morning is to make our lunch choice. For lunch today, we are supposed to be having cheeseburger, lettuce, tomato, pickle, emoji potatoes, sliced peaches, and school-baked cookie. If you don't want cheeseburger, you can always get PBJ or goat cheese. Here to tell us about the weather is Haven. Hi, my name is Haven, and I'll be bringing you today's weather report. It's going to be hot again with a high of 91 and a low of 57. It shouldn't be that humid, humid, so so that it is a plus, and there is no chance of rain. But it is still going to be hot. Hope you have a great day. We always say respect means treating others the way you want to be treated. But it also means seeing the value in, in all people and all things and treating them with care. As we focus this month on respect, we are going to share with you examples of being respectful by listening and being a friend, resolving conflict, and seeing others' perspectives by being a leader. Oh, you guys have been working so hard, uh, earning PBIS points for being respectful, ready, respectful, and responsible, and our focus this month has been on respect. Today, for our third through fifth graders, it is your turn to purchase stuff in our PBIS, PBIS store with the points that you've earned for being uh, ready, respectful, and responsible. Responsible this month for third graders um, is looking at other people's perspective. That's a way you can show um, uh, respect. For, for fourth graders, it's practicing conflict resolution. And for fifth graders, it's being a leader. So now that you guys have earned those points, go ahead and spend them at the store to this morning. It will be open at, um, it should be open right now, and it will be open till 8.30. Hey, even students, also don't forget the September Family Reading Challenge set home. If you send in pictures of your family doing one of the three challenges this month or post it on our Facebook page with the hashtag KES Strong Respect, you will earn 30 dragon points and be entered into the drawing for the family prize. My name is Haven, and today is National Peace Day. And I will, and we want to focus on being kind 
and um, treating each other with peace since today is National Peace Day. Hey Haven, now it's time for our morning message. Please make sure you are being a respectful listener to JC and Adina as they bring us the morning message. Good morning, Kennedy Elementary. This is Adina. And JC. With a few words of wisdom. You have probably heard the story about the boy who cried wolf. He lied so many times that when the wolf was really after him, no one believed him. The boy lied one too many times and suffered a serious consequence. Aristotle, great Greek philosopher, once said liars. When they speak the truth, they are not believed. If we expect people to believe us, we have to earn the trust by always speaking the truth. If we tell lies, if we stretch the truth, we may not be taken seriously when it really counts. Here's another way to look at it. If you lie and then tell the truth, the truth will be considered a lie. With something to think think about, about, this this is Adina and JC. Make make it a great day or not, the choice is yours! we have for the day. Please help Mr. Butcher and Mr. Newbert and your teachers help keep us safe, which are their job, by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating, you, you are, are boldly bold. committed to student success. I'm Peyton. I'm Matthew. Have an awesome day. All right, good morning. It's time for our read aloud of the day. Our read aloud today is called Shh. Its author is Jean Willis. And its illustrator is Tony Ross. The author's the person that wrote the words. The illustrator is the person that drew the pictures. Uh, this is a character strong uh, recommended book. Uh, so as we go through our um, character strong trait of respect, you'll see some of respect uh, examples in here uh, to talk about. Uh, I also read books so that you guys can get a model of what good readers do. Good readers read fluently, which means we read the words correctly at a good pace, not too fast, not too slow, and with expression. It's also an opportunity for you guys to practice what good readers do as they're listening to stories. Listen for the characters, who or what the story's about, the setting, where and when the story's taking place, and the sequence of events, what happens first, next, and last. And good readers ask themselves questions um, as they go. What happened? Why did it happen? What do I think is going to happen next? So here we go with our book of the day. Here's our cover. Shh. Uh, by Jean Willis and illustrated by Tony Ross. Here is our title page. The title page always has the publishing company on it and where it was published, so here we go. Shh. A little shrew had wonderful news. He wanted to tell the whole world, but it was too noisy. Hmm, sounds like our cafeteria. Sometimes our hallways. Bang, 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 pitter, 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 clang, 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 patter, 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 ding, 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 ping, ping, pang. Too noisy. The shrew had a great big thing to say, but he only had a very small voice. No one could hear him above the noise. The shrew waited all day. He waited all night for quiet, but it never came. Morning came. The shrew shouted the news from the roof, but no one heard him. Tap, 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 sniff, 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 He went to the bottom of the valley and tried again, but still no one heard him. Plop, plop, click, click, plop, plop, bleep, bleep, bleep. The shrew stood on a mountaintop. He threw back his head and said, Shh! I know the secret of peace on earth. But nobody heard the shrew. The world was too noisy. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Boom, 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 boom. But the shrew never gave up. He hoped that one day his voice would be heard. Please listen. Maybe if we count to three and keep very, very quiet, perhaps we will hear him. Shall we try? All together. One, two, three.
wonderful news. You've made a little bit of peace. Imagine if everyone in the world sat still and listened just like that. One, two, three, shh. There would be peace on earth. This is the secret, or so I've heard. You show respect by listening.